All right, love, peace, and soul, y'all. This is part two to the 11-11 Twin Flame Portal Post New Moon in Taurus reading. And I was up to reading the feminine, the Divine Feminine's Crystal, Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Mm. Yo, this re every single word is hitting home right now for me. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. Timing, Sagittarius, soul path, divine reconnection. Okay? Divine reconnection reconnection with yourself with your spirituality with your ancestors i told you they came through and also with your divine masculine right he got turquoise 39 true riches a copper-based stone attracting good fortune since antiquity turquoise was popular for protective amulets sacred to head head room venus and to buddha it linked earth and sky and made a potent love charm your pathway is one of self-realization qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills hold on oh, oh wait sorry <laughs> release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable Did you did you just say that? Did 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 you just say that for the divine masculine? Release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate. And I think he got the fortune card. We got the fortune card this time. But last time, I think he did. Okay. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence. But watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. Timing, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, soul path, attuning to the inner rich, riches. Beautiful. All right, let me read the divination. The divination for the divine feminine, like I said, is fortune cookie. Yes, we need that. That definitely links with this Lakshmi. Something that has been hidden from you is now ready to be revealed. And it's rather wonderful. Good fortune is yours for the taking. Be on the lookout for the unexpected. Synchronicity is key. This is your moment. So don't be shy to show your achievements to the world. Be proud of your success and release any worries about what others may think. You could be their inspiration. Yo, y'all don't even know how this is like. This message marks a good omen for all involved. So enjoy every moment knowing you are totally blessed and will continue to be so as you put your all into everything that you do. Fortune comes in a disguise. So look about with lucky eyes. A rare occurrence. Strangers speak points towards a lucky streak. A surprise is on its way. 
A big win is at your fingertips. You have the Midas touch right now. A chance meeting answers questions. A great offer will be made. Notice synchronistic occurrences. Help is at hand. This is your lucky break. Yo. Yo. Do you feel the momentum? So catapult forward. Do you feel the momentum to take that leap of faith? I do. Divine masculine. Look at that pendulum. Decision. There are many paths before you. Some that promise to fulfill your desires and some that others in your life would bid you take to fulfill theirs. It is important for you to decide exactly where you want to go and whom you want to be in this lifetime. For you and not for anyone else. The universe is giving you the choice. Ask yourself, which path will lead to wholeness? Which path deceives? Choose carefully, for the answers are not being presented clearly to you at this time. Wow. See? Things is going to be revealed for the divine feminine and things are, uh, are still not clear for him. <laughs> and that's what he wants. He needs, he wants and needs the clarity, right? Hold on. You would be wise. Okay, let's see. Cold clarity for the answers are not, they're not cl that clear. He, the answers is coming, but they're not clear. You would be wise to call upon the pendulum to assist you with your decision. If it will surely show you the truthful way. Do not take this lightly as the wrong path could de ooh, deter you from your destiny. To, to the question asked, what answer will show? Circle or swing, I don't know. But answer true, it will foretell. And that way, I too shall swing as well. Seek your answers from within rather than from another. Trust your own wise counsel. Be more discerning. Don't take others' advice at face value. Facts, because you don't know their motives. I already done know. Somebody been talking shit. Somebody been talking shit. Got my name in their mouth. What? Listen, you don't know the motives that the you figure is all love. And you don't know the motives that people have. Release guilt and focus on what's best for you. A major decision will soon need to be made. Period. Period. You heard? Yep. All right. Let me read. Did I do everything else? Basically, let me read the God and Goddess. This is like... And then we got the Scorpio New Moon coming up. I can't wait. To, I'm going to do that early do that reading early yes let me read the goddess first of course yes release yes. i'm releasing all this weight <laughs> finally finally and i'm listening to my body when my body's like you know what i just want some salad right now you know what i'm saying or if i want something hearty but do it healthy you know make sure it, it, use brown rice you know um, use some lentil peas, you know, things like that. Don't buy anything. F don't buy fast food. Well, I can't. I ain't got money like that. <laughs> um, don't or don't eat anything fried. You know. Hold on, hold on. Big show. Big show. Big show. It's time to release an old belief or bad habit. Imbalances of all kinds will fall away. Your pain will soon ease. Ishel, the jaguar goddess of the ancient Mayan culture, was the goddess of midwifery, fertility, earth, rain, and the sacred sweat bath. Oh my God, and I love the freaking spa. Yo, I'm like, if I could build a spa, that would be a dream too for me. Like to, oh my, oh, that, that solidifies it. I need to go to the spa. That solidified it. Hold on. <laughs> Widely honored, her cult extended at one time as far as the islands off the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Her myth once focused on the practice of the sweat bath, 
the place where the elderly went to relieve their age and pain. And Mayan mothers went before and after the birth to ease the delivery. Birth, rain, pain, and sweat baths all indicate a release of some sort. And this grandmother goddess gives wise counsel to the process. Ixchel also holds the water jar of the calendar. When she empties it, it symbolizes the flood of rains to renew the earth at the end, at the end of the year. She was invoked prior, during, and after birth to ensure a fruitful and safe labor. So many drawings and stories of her exist in archaeological records. Call upon the releasing powers of eggshell when you are ready to let go. Let something go. Mm, whether you want to rid yourself of excess weight, like I said. <laughs> I don't want to wake up, puppy. Oh, my God. She came out in, so, in, in other decks for me in personal readings I was doing for myself. This is so right one time. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Where was I at? A bad habit, a disease, or or old patterns. Eggshell is a powerful discharging force. Allow her to help you let go of what no longer serves you so that you don't hold grudges or resentments. These things are negative and heavy. Shadow side. The mind society was certainly a harsh one of blood and sacrifice. And it's commonly known now that slaves for human offerings, their souls were released as gifts to the gods were also an important part of eggshell's dominion. Of course, human sacrifice is not practiced or sanctioned in modern society, and now there are other ways to set your negative energies free. Think carefully about what it is you wish to unburden and release. As the old saying goes, don't throw the baby out with the bath water, meaning don't throw the good out with the bad. Rain, rain, jar of water, woman with jaguar ears, sweat bath. Wow. If shall I call your name, woman of the Jaguar, dark as night, I need your help and my own release. What? Yes, I would say, yeah, get a jar with a small jet or obsidian crystal, paper pen, or marker. Write on strips of papers or small stones what you wish to release. Place the obsidian and press the crystal in the, in the jar. Go outside and say what I just said. Now hold the paper or the stone with the thing you wish to release written upon it. Think about how much trouble this thing has been to you and how hard it has been to release it. Allow this emotional energy to rise and put this into the rock or paper. Then place the rock or paper into the jar saying, I place this in the jar of eggshell is shell to release away away. Wow. Repeat it for each issue that you have. Say thank you when you're done. Close, put the lid on the jar and leave the jar outside somewhere inconspicuous. See, that's why I need a damn house. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that when you live in a 14 floor building. Or put it outside the windowsill, but then it might drop. Mm. Listen. And then it said, when it feels feels full, add water to it and bury it. Wow. Oh, I'm definitely going to be working with this energy. Most definitely. Most definitely. That's me all day too. Divine Masculine. Yule. Focus. First time I heard this. This must be a Nordic energy. Clear mind, clear mindedness and a focused intent are necessary for success right now. You need stamina for long term projects. In the blanket of white, that is the snow field. A figure with a bow awaits. He is camouflaged against his en enemies. He is the picture of stillness. Hardly moving, but when he does, it is with deliberate grace and absolute surety. The sure, clear-eyed gaze runs along the straightness of the arrow. The arrow's tip dully glows against the flush of the fingers holding it steady. 
Without ado, with complete ease, the figure releases the bowstring, and there is a hiss of energy and then the dull thump of the arrow impacting deep into its target. Then and only then does the bowman breathe out. Only then does he move to become more leather clad. Wait, only then does he move to become more leather clad deity than snowman. As he rises to his full height, we see you, Nordic god of marksmen. You is a very old deity associated with Germanic and Scandinavian peoples. Being a great marksman could mean the difference between eating and an empty belly or being or between killing and dying. So you is important, God, to have on your side. Should you be going out to hunt something, think beyond hunting animals, to trap an idea, to chase a goal, or to travel in harsh environments, whether that means physical snow fields or emotional minefields, you would call upon you for the focus required for success. It is you who invented skiing and snowshoeing and ancient arc depicts him with sleds and skis. Today, you is a popular god of skiing. Some modern Nordic Olympians wear symbols of you on their clothes and equipment. It is certainly worth saying a few prayers to him next time you wish to tackle a harder than usual ski run. Call upon you when you need more focus and clarity in your life. No matter how harsh the terrain, literal or emotional, you can get you through to where you wish to be. He can lead you he can lend you the, the stamina you need to complete a task when there are distractions, obstacles, or haters all around you. He is the essence of calm centeredness and will help you achieve what you wish to achieve with a minimum of fuss. Shadow side. Focus is generally a good thing. However, if we focus on one thing and one thing only to the exclusion of all else, this can be an issue in the long term. We all know people who focus wholly on school and forget that they have friends and other commitments. This is the shadow side of being focused. Focus is important, but so is balance. Bow and arrow skiing sleds. Okay. Find or fashion an arrowhead. Hold it in your hand and say, no matter what I chase, no matter what I do, Clear flight to my arrow. May it hit my tar true target. You, I need your assistance with state what you need to focus with, you know, what you need to focus on. Be with me on my journey. Show me how to hit the mark. Okay. And if you are um in a in a region that has snow, then you could definitely also do a ritual in the snow, okay. And throw snowballs, it says. Now, that's getting in tune with your inner child as well. And then also talking about that precision. We know that hawks have great eyesight, okay? Right in exact precision. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get better than the eagle, the falcon, you know? But you see his eyes are covered, you know? It's like the truth is being hidden from him as well. Okay. I don't think it's being hidden. I think that is just, it's not totally clear yet for him. It's becoming clear. Okay. Because remember, we've been doing so much clearing out. It's a whole new cycle that we're going through right now. I mean, and then we're relearning so many things too. That things that we've been taught about interacting with people, about Showing love about who you should love, who you should be with. I remember what was the divination said he should listen because he have a, he has if he's going to yo. And then look, wow, wow. Do you see that? Do you see that? You got a decision to make. Are you gonna come to the divine feminine? Okay. Are you gonna choose her or are you? Going because I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you, we're like, she's like, if he don't come on and tell me something, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. You know, I'm done. I'm done, son. <laughs> I always say that. But I feel like that's, that's where we at. We always got to remember that. Oh, you know. 
You never know. I feel like you never know the way certain people's story is. You may not get together in this lifetime. But I feel like it's all based on our decision. I think it's based on the course of the courses of action that we take, the directions that we go in. It's all dependent on that because we all have free will. Okay? We all have free will. As to what we want to do. Yeah, the blueprint has been laid out on what our mission is supposed to be. And, you know, I feel like that's why we're releasing. We're releasing the neediness. That bad habit of being so needy. The bad habit of trying to push the issue. The bad habit of trying to rush things. You know, now it's like we, we're like... Okay, you know, I'm good with focusing on my business. I'm good with, you know, the little information that is shared, you know. I got I know I have to change my perspective, you know. Yes, I I I'm feeling away. Sometimes you feel away, sometimes you feel jealous. He feels jealous too. I know it's starting <laughs> oh my gosh this was a beautiful reading though because it, it for me it just hit home on so like each and every word honestly and it's just this was just i feel like this was not this was like a quickie like you know just touching the surface to see how these energies are you know marinating together okay next up is going to be the new moon in scorpio definitely going to get that out the way um, cause I want to be able to really focus on that one, you know, plus I'm tired. I did a couple of readings before, so, you know, that one I'm going to do straight off the bat. Okay. Because, you know, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. <laughs> and just, just, you know, basically seeing how this new life is is starting okay how is this new life how does it feel getting acclimated to it yo i'm catch yo all day i've been catching like quadruple deja vu it's crazy i i, I don't know what to do with it when it happens like all day all day i was like i would have stop in my tracks like okay deja vu crazily Crazy strong energy. Wow. Well, this was a pleasure doing this for y'all, my beloveds. Right? Beloved twin flames. Uh, I like that's why I like to say divine soul partnerships. Really. You know? Because this is about soul evolution when you check it. You know. Because I feel like some of us, it wouldn't go down any other way. Real talk. Real talk. Being able to shut down this ego. Shutting down the monkey mind. Okay? Some of us needed to go through this so much clearing. There's so many things that you're going through. Okay? The an clearing of ancestral lines. All right? Timelines. This life. The past lives, all right? And it's like, it's like, what you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Holistically. Where's the card? That's what I was looking for. Holistically, okay? Yeah, it's, it's not easy and you're vulnerable, all right? But remember, this is for the collective. This is for the collective to show the way, to point the way, to set a precedent. Okay? So there are so many twin flame archetypes that actually lived on this earth or in allegory form. Right? So we know that it's a true dynamic. It's just that it's coming forward so strong at this point in time to for us to get to this new world, okay? To raise and rise above into a new dimension, right? Y'all already know. 
email me if you would like a personal reading empressgem17 at gmail.com it's always a pleasure much love to my peoples thank you for all the comments share with your family if you got a reading share it on your social media thing they, they nobody's gonna know which nickname is you right so that's why i come up with the name so nobody will know who you are but just say yeah i got a reading from empress blah 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 ain't nobody gonna know which video is yours or some of sometimes i don't do upload videos okay depends on what kind of reading you would like right you express to me i'm open that way you can express to me you know well i would like a video chat you know or we could do this over the phone you know but much love to y'all peace